Hello and welcome to this episode of T Tech. Today we're going to set up the OpenBSD uh, a desktop on OpenBSD. So the first thing you want to do is log in as a normal user. Uh, make sure you have internet connectivity at this point, and also make sure when you installed, you installed all of the X sets. So everything to do with X org and all of that. Now the first thing you want to do is go to. Let's go to um, root. So you want to get those privileges. And uh, what you need to know about when you're talking about a desktop in general, there's two ways to go about it in Unix. You have the window manager option and you have a desktop environment option. The, the easiest way to explain it basically is the, the window manager is simpler. It has less tools to make things easy to do but it uses less of your computer's resources as far as disk space, RAM, everything like that. A desktop environment, on the other hand, makes things very easy and faster to do, but doesn't, but is heavy on the system resources. So there's your trade-off there. But regardless of that, um, to search for anything uh, we may want to use for these, uh, we have many options, so we want to search package info uh, dash Q, capital Q here. If I search for rat poison, which is a window manager I like, you can get uh, results from there. And another good one is Fluxbox, at least for example. So what we'll do here is you can install multiple. So we'll do package add rat poison and Fluxbox. Now, we're also going to go ahead and add Firefox as a package for us. Because when we start up our graphics, having a web browser is a good thing. So you can have multiple, and we choose in a second here which one we want to actually start. So we're going to start the installation of these three packages. All right, now that that is installed, um, what we're going to do is exit back to a normal user and make sure you're in your home directory. So the legacy way of starting Xorg and OpenBSD involved making a hidden file x initrc here. And then what you would do is put in the path, if you do where is like your window manager, you would put that user local bin flux box in there. In this case, um, they've, they've improved Xorg. It runs with privilege separation, whereas it didn't before. And when it starts up, if it starts, if a normal user starts it, it is unable to perform the privilege separation. So because of this, it fails to access things it needs, like dev memory and things of that nature. So you cannot just put this in there and type start x like usual. You actually have to make an x session file now. And if we want to start Fluxbox, we put in user local bin Fluxbox. So it should be a hidden file dot x session user local bin fluxbox. And in this case with xorg as well, there is no way that I can find at least to run x dash configure if you have issues to, you know, further configure the server. But there is directories for this. There's user share, there's, I'm sorry, user x11r6 share x11, let's see, xorgconf d. And then these are for specific GPUs and your uh, touchpad and things like that. You can make changes there, but 99% of the time you actually do not have to. All right, so now after filling out the x session file, we want to use rcctl and enable zen odm for our login manager. And you also want to go to etsy sysctl.conf and you want to put in here machdep dot allow aperture equals one. You need this in order for Zen ODM to start. Now after we've done those two things, let's reboot and what's going to happen is from everything in this X session file will be executed. So I'll reboot and I'll see you in a second. All right, now we have our login screen. 
and if we run uh, our username ttech and then put a password in it's going to start what is an X session so flexbox was what we put in here and it should start us for it it should start for us and there we go so now we have the flexbox window manager started through a graphical login manager now this is also what I meant about the privilege separation if you look here Fluxbox is running as the ttech user but xorg is also privilege separated to the underscore x11 user meaning if at any point any application we're using in xorg gets compromised they if they take over xorg they only have privileges of either ttech or underscore x11 so that limits the damage of an attack from uh, that perspective so we're going to quick change what we have in our accession file and start up rat poison instead now i do want to know you can change the setting right from an existing xorg session but um in this case we didn't so let's vi.x session and use change this to be rat poison instead so now if we go here and start up our login manager whoops start there we go so now if I log in we're gonna see that the window manager uh, rat poison starts up so this is the window manager rat poison and here we go having a little uh, look around it but um, that is how it works now, as you see we still have all of our privilege separation and everything and um, I do want to add if you don't want to use a login manager if you use sue and get root and give root an xnet rc file you can still do start x it's just not recommended now because it's not privilege separated so that's the reason we do it this way now but anyway you can do it either way you want so with all that it's uh, been tyler with ttech I, I do hope this was helpful in getting a desktop environment running for you and uh, thank you for viewing and have a very nice day